Hey Ken, Shane down here at Nissan of Cookville. Just wanted to give you a walk around video here on this Titan. One of my absolute favorite colors. I love this deep blue pearl. It just shines so, so nice. I do apologize, it's a little bit rainy and uh, windy out here today. So if you can't hear me all the way, again, I apologize and for having to be a little bit wet here. But you get these really nice styled wheels on here, really adds to the full uh, aesthetic of the vehicle. You get the mud flaps in the back on the front there as well. And then you get these really nice step bars. You also do have the uh, bigger mirrors here as well, which is always a nice benefit and a plus on those. Uh, coming over here to the front as well, I'll show you a couple things. You got these little circles that are down here on the vehicle going all the way through. Those are gonna be your sensors in the front, so if you get close, it'll start beeping at you to let you know. Uh, and then you do have the tow hooks, which are gonna be there and there. We just have them still wrapped. And then it's kind of hard to see in a video, but right above my finger there, there's a little triangle. That's a camera that's constantly looking out forward for you for all of your forward collision assistance and things of that nature. And then just give you a walk around here on the side of this one as well. And I do believe that this one also has had a leveling kit, which is really nice as well. Um, and then in the back, you do have the sprayed in bed liner with the Utilitrack system. That's going to be these silver bars that go through. It's cool because then you don't have to use the normal tie down hooks. You can really put these little cleats that come with it anywhere you want in those uh, little notches they have. So you don't have to get really creative with how you're going to tie down different things. You can just move the hooks and make it super simple and easy. On the back here, you do have a backup camera. And then you have some more sensors that are down here on the back. And of course, the tow hitch with the connectors here as well. And then over here, you've got the little step to be able to get up inside of there a little bit easier. And then pop that back up in there. Uh, you do have a slow falling tailgate as well, which is cool. Falls right down nice and easy like that. That's gonna save you a lot of wear and stress on everywhere it connects over here. And uh, if you're in a situation like I am right now, making a video for you with one hand makes it a lot easier to maneuver that and move it. You do have those lights in the back in case you wanted to do some work in the truck at night. And then you do have the sliding rear window as well. And then on the key, the top button there with the little circle right up here is remote start. I've already got it running or else I'd show you how to use it. But what you do is you hit lock twice and then hold the top button down five seconds. That's going to then remote start the car. And then back here, you of course got your seats, not a whole lot to talk about there. Um, and then over here, you got a standard household outlet and then two fast chargers and then all of your floor mats and a front license plate bracket. And then these seats fold right up like that. And then they lock in place, you use this to pull them down. There's also a little tab right here, you pull that and then these fold forward. And that's back where you got your jack and everything there. When you do have these seats up, now this is also under the other seats as well. You get this little table that folds out. This also does have a lock. So if you wanted to store anything in there, you can certainly do that as well. Coming over here to the driver's side, there's a little button here on the door that's keyless entry. So if it was locked and I walked up with my keys and hit that button, it'll then unlock it. And vice versa, if it was unlocked and I got out to leave, hit that button and it'll lock the vehicle. Here you do have power locks, windows, mirrors, full power adjustable seat, forward, upwards, back, pretty much every way but left and right. You can definitely get comfortable in these. Steering wheel is also uh, tilting and telescoping. You just pull this little tab down. You can move that wherever you need. And this here is where you can turn on those household um, outlets as well. And then the cargo lamp for if you're doing work in the back. And then automatic headlights there, of course, as well. And then over here, you do have brightness and a dim for the dash and a trip reset there. I'm just going to hop in and kind of back this up a little bit just so I'm out of the way of anybody else trying to come through here. So as I back it up, you can see there we got the backup camera. And uh, I'll let those sensors come into play here quick. Just uh, get this going. Once we start getting close, to start to hear a beep at us. And the closer that you get, the louder the, uh, or the closer the interval gets, you also have a sensor showing right up on there. And you get to that inevitable flat line. Um, now on that camera there as well, um, when I turn the wheel, the orange lines will tilt and it'll give you an idea of pre-forecasting your turn essentially. And then there's the blue line that's down the middle. That's gonna make it so it's easier to line up for a trailer that's behind you because that's gonna be perfectly lined up to uh, your hitch in the back. Um, over here on the steering wheel, you got a couple cool things. Uh, these buttons up here are going to be to correlate to the screen up there. Then you got volume up and down and seek and scan on the radio. And then you do have your Bluetooth functionality here and the source button to go from AM, FM, Bluetooth, Sirius, the whole nine from there. 
Over here, you do have your cruise control. This also does have intelligent cruise. The camera that I told you is up here works with this here. So when you have your cruise and you hit this, you can choose one, two, three car lengths ahead of you. And if you were set to 70 and going down the road and somebody cuts out in front of you going 65, once you get to whatever you have set distance wise in front of them, um, it will then slow down and pace their speed as well. I think this is one of those features where after you've had it, it's like, oh man, I can't go back and not have this in those. So it's a really, really cool feature, especially if you drive a lot too. Uh, and then over here, you do have a tow mode. This is just going to essentially uh, reduce your shift points while you are towing something. So you're not gonna have a lack of power then try to have to downshift the gear and, and pull back up from there. And then if you wanted to have even more control, you got manual shifting here with the plus and the minus as well. This is push button start. That's this button right here. Full touchscreen display. I One of the biggest things I love about Nissan is their displays. Um, it's not grainy, it's not gritty. It's almost like a cell phone screen and gives you really good pixel density so that all of those colors are really deep and it just has a really nice crisp and smooth feel to it as well. Just gives you a really premium feel. You of course have volume up and down right here and a seek and scan right here. And again, just to show you, everything up there is touchscreen as well. Um, then you can also, of course, pair up your Bluetooth or use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, whichever you prefer to do those. You just have to have it plugged into one of these ports down here. It does have dual climate control, so if somebody on the other side was a little bit more cold, they could have their heat up wherever they would want it to be. And then you have an auto function right here. If we hit auto like this, you're going to see a couple things start to change unless I'm right at that temperature, but uh, it's going to work like a thermostat in a house now. So now I don't have to choose how hot, how cold, how much fan, how little fan. If I have it set to 66, it's just going to keep me set to 66 over here. So I can just keep continuing to focus on my drive ahead of me rather than messing with my climate controls. You do have a mode button here. This is going to switch this little picture here, which will show you different places of where you want the air to blow through. And then you have an on and off button to quickly turn it off. And then a uh, front windshield defrost and a rear defrost there as well. A couple buttons down through here. You do have your hazard lights here. This one's gonna turn off most of your safety settings. And this one's gonna turn off those sensors in the back that start beeping at you. The reason they give you a quick and easy way to turn this off is if you're backing it into, um, if you're using it for work and you have to get close to something, it will get crazy annoying listening to that beeping. So you can turn that off by hitting this button here. And then you do have an option to turn off traction control there as well. Electronic brake controller down here two fast charging ports. So if you do charge your phone through there, um, it's gonna charge your phone much, much faster. It's not gonna be quite as fast as it is in a house, but it's gonna be a lot faster than what it is in a lot of other vehicles. That way, if you have your phone charging, but using your phone, you're not just plugging it in so it doesn't lose battery and die, you're actually gaining a charge, which is a nice feature. Um, over here, you do have heated seats on both sides, a high setting on the top, just push it in, low setting on the bottom, push that one in there. Right here is going to be cup holders, which you can pull out and you can see these little cutouts here. You can rearrange these two uh, portions here, both the cup holders and this here, and put them however you would want them to be placed in the vehicle. And then inside here, you get a huge glove box. Um, you can pull this up here and you get even more space in there where you can take that in or out from there. And then here you do have a couple spots for pens, business cards, or uh, credit cards, whatever you want to leave in there. Not that I recommend leaving credit cards in your car, but you do have a spot for those. And then over here, you do have a really nice uh, big space down there as well. Um, last couple things, you do get a huge sunglasses holder. Um, the reason I mention it like that is a lot of these, you can't actually fit most sunglasses and maybe reading glasses, but that's about it. These are huge so that you can actually fit most sunglasses up there. Um, you do also have this here for your light functionality or press each and in every individual light. You have an SOS button, I'll explain that to you here in a minute. And then this one right here is going to be the power slider for the back. I think having a power slider is one of the nicest bits you can have with these. If they're not powered, it's uh, kind of hard to use them because you have to crawl back there to use them. So having it be powered actually makes it usable. Um, so that is always a good bit there. Um, now this SOS feature, what this is, you can use Nissan Connect services. It's an app you download on your phone. It's free for the first six months. After then, if you decide to pay for it, I believe it's around 20 bucks a month. You can do remote starts from your phone. Nice bit about that is that 
when you do a remote start on the key, um, unless you're looking at your truck, you really have no idea it started. Uh, if you do it on your phone, you know for a fact that it did and there's no distance limitation. So you could be in Florida, remote start your car back over where you live. Um, you could also lock it, unlock it. So if you're on vacation, but somebody need to get in your car for something, you could unlock it for them, have them tell you when it's done, and then you could lock it up again from there. You get GPS location in case the vehicle's stolen and a couple other uh, additional features, but it is a really nice thing to have, um, being able to do everything right from your phone. Just a good quality of life uh, feature from there. Um, and then of course the SOS button, if you were in an accident or something like that, hit that, it's going to uh, dial a 24 hour helpline where they could then get it through to authorities or whatever the case may be from there. And last little thing I'll show you here, is those three buttons right there, those are gonna be for a garage door. If you did want to uh, pair this up to your house to make it a little bit easier to get in and uh, get things going from there. So I know it's a little bit faster of a video here, but I think I covered most of it. If there is anything additionally that you want me to go over with you, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll be giving you a shot here shortly to go over some numbers with you. Thank you.